Hey guys, this is Chris from Chris Productions, and today I'm bringing you guys a review on the Arctic Batman versus Mr. Freeze and Aquaman on ice. So this comes with the uh, bat ice speeder thingy, and um, comes with the Aquaman and Mr. Freeze. So this is gonna be a pretty hardcore set. So um, it this set cost me 25 Canadian. It'll be 19.99 US. Is my great estimate, guesstimate. Yeah. Um. Anyways, so um. Yeah, let's just get right to the set here. I want to show you guys the box. It says comic book included. Whoa. Um, what else does it say? No, that's all it says. Yeah, there's like a bat symbol. Some cool Batman artwork on the box. And shows Arctic Batman. And the um, features on the back. Like Aquaman breaking out of the ice. Aquaman breaking the ice, yeah. And just uh, them fighting each other. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys the comic book that this comes with. I think that's a really cool kind of feature. I'm not going to actually show you what's in it because that will kind of ruin it for you. But um, it just shows Arkham Asylum set, which I really hope that they end up releasing in, um, in regular stores. Otherwise, I think it's not going to be very good because they only sell it if it's a Lego store exclusive or anything like that. So, uh, I don't really, can't really show you much about the comic. There's just them fighting. Um, there's the Arkham Asylum set, then there's the, uh, this set, and then there's the, um, Batman Dark Knight Rises, the Tumblr versus the Bat set, which I ha own right now, and I'll be doing a review on it next. So, yeah, it just shows the whole figures, all the characters, and I really like that because it shows you what you can get. So I really do like that. And it's the exact same with the Marvel. I love how the box work is very similar between this and Marvel. It's really cool. So um, now let's just get to the figures here. Um, so you can see we get Aquaman, Mr. Freeze, and Arctic Batman. So I'm going to start off with Arctic Batman. So um, yeah. So as you can see, he's just got a gray, light bluish gray torso, and then he has white. It's kind of his other color. He has a white bat helmet, and it's really cool because normally they just come in black. You get a white cape, really cool too. Um, you get the traditional Batman head, and yeah. So that's what that looks like. Next we get Aquaman, and he's pretty cool. If my camera will focus on him, so he kind of has this like grumpy and upset face. He's got trident, which we've seen before. Cool torso printing, and he has some awesome back printing, and he actually just has yellow hair. So that's what surprised me. Now he has like a rage face. And that's Aquaman. Okay, like I was saying, we got Mr. Freeze here, and he's a really awesome minifigure. He's got some pretty cool gun, lightsaber piece there. Um, we have the returning um, kind of suit that they use in um, Atlantis sets. I think that's where it, yeah, that's where it originated from. So this time it's in a very light blue color, so I really like that. That's really cool. Then we get this um, kind of trans blue glass dome. Very cool. We have awesome printing on him. I'm going to zoom in on that. If it'll let me. I don't think it will. Never mind. We won't try that now. There we go. Some awesome torso printing. Awesome back printing. As well, and then he has this cool. Ah, focus in on his face. Cool face detailing. So I found um, the figures are all really cool. Really like the figures. And, um,. Personally, I really do like the, um, I kind of like all of them. I, I couldn't even choose a favorite from these. Anyways, so, um, let's go on to this little ice prison thing that Mr. Freeze traps Aquaman in. So, um, as you can see, it's just this little thing here, and we get two of these pieces. And what you can do is you can just take one off, and then we will, I guess I'll take off Aquaman's uh, trident there. And we'll put him on the stand. Sorry, I'm gonna fail at doing this. Oh, I just broke it. Sad face. 
There is so no Aquaman is trapped in the ice. What will we do? Throw a battering at this and Well that's one way to do it. No, I was gonna say you could break it open like that and Aquaman is free. So um that's one of the features of the set and one of the cool little parts. Next we get the um I don't know what to call it. I guess it's like the bat sled or something. And um, so that's what it looks like. It's at, it looks a bit longer than it does on the camera, and on the box it makes it look like it's um, not as long, but it's actually pretty long, and it's used some pretty cool pieces. Very cool. From my point of view, this is like a really cool set. Um, and um, you get some just some really cool pieces with it. It's just I think it's got a really nice look to the set. We also get some pretty cool features. We get these launching kind of like heat bombs or something. And they actually get a lot better distance than flip fire missiles. Um, thank you, Lego, for not including those. I'm so excited. I thought that I was like, oh, flip fire missiles. And then they're like, ooh, what are these? And in the back, we also get these other bombs. And that's what they look like. And you just have to pull them off and kind of drop them or throw them or whatever. So anyways, that's the um, kind of bat sled, I guess. And just lots of stickers um, inside. Mm, some stickers. There's stickers on the... No printed pieces. Sad face. Batman sticker there. Stickers. Stickers. Even the like plasma bombs or whatever are stickers. So um, anyways, that's my review of this set. I really enjoyed this set overall. Um... I really do like this set, and um, for the price of probably 20 US, I would definitely buy this set. Um, compared to buying stuff like, um, I don't know, I want to say Ninjago, because I bought the same, or a set for the same price. I only got two minifigures, I got um, Cole's um, Digger thing, and I'd definitely go for a um, superhero set any day, Marvel or DC. So anyways, that's my point of view on the kind of set and the idea of a hundred yes and the price so anyways um thank you guys for watching now if you guys could please just listen to this and go do this for me i'm creating a review channel it's already created the link will be in the description below first thing pretty much and um it's called super bricks reviews and that's where i'm going to be posting all my brand new set reviews on so if you guys could all go and subscribe to it that would be really good i want to get the channel to like a thousand subscribers and then I'll be happy because I want it to be almost a separate thing from everything else that I do. I don't want to have to be doing reviews on this channel anymore. I want to be doing reviews on that channel, and that's what the channel will be made for. So if you guys could all head over there and subscribe, that would be great. Um, as I said, you know, I'll when I get the um, if I can get the next wave of Star Wars sets first again, um, you know, the reviews will be on there and like other themes too. So. I know um, Canadian Toys R Us's, they always say, we get it first. Well, um, this is the first time that it's actually happened, um, starting with the Galaxy Squad sets. So, um, anyways, I'm going to be prepared for that now, and I'm going to be watching for new sets so I can get them to you guys first, and all the reviews will be on that other channel. And um, once it gets a few more subscribers, I'll be doing, I'll kind of go and do more themes rather than stars, just Star Wars superheroes and Ninjago for now. I will expand it to more themes if you guys go and subscribe. So thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. And peace out.